In the previous video, we went ahead and created the functionality and the buttons. And in this video, we're going to be going over how we can create the UI for our Math Edition app. So we can actually get started in our body by creating a VStack. And inside this VStack, first we're going to provide a text, which will have a backslash. And first it's going to have the first number inserted. So first number. And of course, this needs to be surrounded by quotation marks. So we can do that plus the second number, just like that. And we want to give this a font of dot large title because we want it to really stand out. And we also want it to be bold. Now, right now we have zero plus zero, which is bad because we want the numbers to be automatically generated as soon as we load the app. So to do that, you can either create a button or for this example, we're going to call on appear and it's going to perform the action that we specify. And for this action, we're going to specify generate answers. So now every time we preview the app or restart the app, it's going to give us a new random number that we need to find the answer for. Next below the text view, we can go ahead and create an H stack. And inside here, we can start with a for each loop. So for each, and this is going to be in zero to less than two. And for the index of each one of these numbers, we're going to create a button. And this button is going to perform two actions. The first one is check whether the answer is correct. So here we will type in choice array at the index of the index, which means the first button that will be generated will have an index of zero. And the second button that will be generated will have an index of one. So if we click on the first button, it's going to be button number zero. And if we click on the second button, it's going to be button number one. And every time we click on a button, we want to generate new answers so the game can continue. Now, you might notice that it's not so happy and that's because we didn't provide a label yet. And the label is going to be the answer button plus the number, which is going to be the choice array at the index. And as you can see, Using this for each loop helped us save some time by creating two buttons instead of one. And now we're going to go ahead and duplicate this code, which in general should always be avoided if possible. But for the simplicity of this app, we're going to go ahead and do that. Put it down here with the exception that the for each loop should be changed from two to four. So now we have four numbers that are randomly generated. And the final thing we need to do before we're done with our app is create a score field because it's cool to know whether you're getting the answers correctly answered or falsely answered. So here we're going to go ahead and create a text view with a sign that says score, a backslash with the score inserted. And we want to give it a font of dot headline so it stands out a bit. And we want it to be bold because we want the user to know that this is an important part of the app. I might actually add a colon here as well because it looks nice. And with that being done, we have a fully functional math app. So if we go ahead and click on run, it's going to take us to our math game, which is nearly identical as the last one, except it's a lot easier because it has two plus 42, which is 44. It has 33 plus 34, which is 67. Then we have 40 and we have 41. And as you can see, each time we click on the correct answer, it says, cool, you get one more point. If we click on the wrong answer, such as eight, because this is 42, but we decide to click on eight, the score is going to go down. And this is the basic functionality of how you can create a math game app. The challenge for you guys is to add a timer and also add a high score so that the user can compete and try to get better as they play this game. But I think as a starter project, this was more than sufficient. We created lots of cool code that actually does something really nice in Swift UI. But with that being said, as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.